I think after Peaky Blinders, me and Killian shared the interest in working again together because that went very well and um, we were looking for a project and I think it was Killian's wife who suggested small things like this book and miraculously uh, the rights were available and we asked Enda Walsh uh, to write a screenplay and then uh, and I think Killian met Matt Damon on the set of Oppenheimer and he gave us the money and there we go. I think the, the story of grief that comes back to me thematically also in like stories as Patrick and it's for me a personal story and that's something I I'll try to investigate from different perspectives all the time and that was for me it feels to me that's the engine of the story um, and that's in a, in a different context um, in a different setting but I felt like going through that stages of grief and Exploring the grief together with an actor as Killian was for me uh, a no-brainer. My connection to the film is um, very strong, very immediate, within touching distance really, in the sense that I grew up knowing that there was a very big Magdalene in, in Cork. It was a place that kind of hung over your consciousness, that where bold girls went and don't talk to them, you know? Like, an awful lot of shame around them. So, yeah, it's kind of very much absorbed. Irish people up to a certain age, it has absorbed into our DNA. Mm -hmm. One of my first experiences w with learning about our, our history and what happened was um, watching Magdalene Sisters. And remember how much that movie just tore my heart out, it yeah. shocked me. Crispina, commit any sin mortal or otherwise to get the hell out of here. A lot of stories around that time for Ireland about the repression and secrecy and... Yeah. And there's a lot of uh, documentaries coming out. Yeah. And stories and books coming out, so... Yeah, when it's it very is. cathartic it's yeah. for the whole nation, you know, and, and beyond, because it's such a universal story. You know, I believe here in Belgium too that many stories have come out recently about the power play of the church. Mm. You know, so it, it talks to a lot of people, a strength within a community to speak up, put your head up and talk about it. It's very, they're really important stories. Mm. I think it's all about silence and, and the sil silence is louder than words. Absolutely. That's what I believe. And I think that's what the church did. It's like when you are quiet, you are doing what the church wants, but you're losing something much more worthwhile, which is your humanity. Not speaking, being complicit, and that's where I draw the parallel again with Will. We shouldn't be quiet. We should speak. In a house of six, six women and two men, we were not allowed to mention our periods. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't like, it wasn't a don't speak about it. It was like, stop, you'll embarrass your father. That was, you know, from a family that were, you know, very loving, very giving, very poor, but, you know, very loving. Uh, but at the same time, very adamant to keep a lid on things, you know. There's a shame and a dirtiness and everything. And then uh, until you start to speak about it, you don't hear other people's... Um, stories that mirror that, you know, and I think mm, Tim has a brilliant capacity to allow the silence carry all that history, you know, he's not afraid of it, actually. Mm. What I feel is like a lot of people can find parallels and will find, will be personally involved with it in different ways. I would say when you are silent, you are complicit. That's what I take from it. I think it's for everyone. It's one of those, like, it's set in Ireland and it's an Irish story, but there's, it's worldwide. And just for me, it's just the simplicity of being in a position where you're scared to speak out because you don't like what you're saying. It just happens to yeah. be an Irish 
story. Yeah. And it's amazing. Like when you think of Magdalene sisters being made 25 or more years ago, that people still don't know. You know, there's a whole new generation that don't know about Magdalene's and mm. the treatment of women. And so if anything, this film is most definitely universal, but it also, uh, art can act as a brilliant provoker of conversations. That sometimes you can't have those hard talks about secrets in your family, but you can watch a movie and discuss the thing over a pint or over a cup of tea later or whatever. It somehow makes it easier to just begin. And I think that's what this does beautifully.